Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part eight of my WordPress theme tutorial. And here are links to all the previous versions. First, where I showed you how to turn a Photoshop file or regular image into an HTML file. Then I showed you the CSS that goes into turning that into a working, ready to be made into a WordPress file. And then in the next tutorial, I showed you how to turn that HTML website into a WordPress theme. And then I showed you how to create a WordPress menu and how to fix up the style sheets. Well, if you went through all of that and there's a link to all that code in a zip archive in the underbar, you probably went and looked at this guy and then clicked on, for example, sample page and went, oh no, it doesn't work. Or you clicked on the home page and went, oh no, it didn't work. Or you went in the search field and typed in something like garlic and went, oh no, it doesn't work. Well, in this part of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to fix all those other pages. And on top of that, the most requested thing is for me to show you how to embed a Twitter feed in a WordPress site. I'm gonna show you that as well, and a bunch of other different things. Well, first, what you need to do is open up some files in your favorite plain text editor. And those specific files you're gonna to wanna to open are archive.php, page.php, search.php, and single.php. And then what we're gonna do is pretty much copy and paste code from index.php into those guys to make everything work perfectly. So I have index.php, and I want my sidebars to be set up right, like they are in index.php. This is what's showing up properly over here. So what I simply wanna do is come in here and select this and copy it and then jump over to page.php and right after the header I want to come in here and paste that in there and this is where the loop begins so we're gonna paste that code directly inside of there and then just so we don't forget we're gonna come down here to the git sidebar part and we're gonna delete that to make sure that that other sidebar does not show up then while we still have that selected we want to jump over into search.php and right after where it says template path right here we want to jump in here and paste our code inside of there and then you can straighten this stuff up so that it looks a lot nicer. And then we're gonna jump into single.php, come up here again, right after the header. Again, I'm doing this right before the loop starts on all these pages, and I'm gonna paste all my code in there so that it looks all nice and neat. And then I'm gonna jump into archive.php, and right after header again, I'm gonna jump in here and paste everything in so that it's all nice and neat. Okay, now we're ready for round two. We're gonna go back into index.php, which is set up properly. And then I'm gonna grab this div right here called post lists. And I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna jump back into page.php. And right before div class post, this guy right here, php id, I'm gonna come in here and paste that inside of there. Then I'm gonna jump into search. And here, right before we have the title area surrounded with H2 tags, I'm gonna paste my post list in there and I forgot to delete my sidebar last time, so I'm gonna delete it this time. Then I'm gonna jump into single.php, scroll down here right after the loop starts. I'm gonna paste in that div again. This is just so we can surround everything and target it with our CSS code. Get rid of sidebar again, don't forget that. And then I'm gonna jump into archive.php and then we're gonna to have to scroll through all of this stuff right here to try to figure out which archive we're gonna pull up until we come down here again, right inside the loop and right before post class and paste that inside of there. Then we need to jump back into index again and we're gonna look for this guy right here, h2 post title da 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 da, copy that, jump into page.php, and right after this guy right here, we're gonna delete this title thing and paste that in there instead. Then jump into search, scroll up a little bit, and again, right after this ID we have right here, we're gonna delete this title area and paste in our own code. Jump into single.php, look again for post class right here where it says the title, we're gonna replace this again, right like that, and then jump back into archive. And in this situation, I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna put a class inside of here instead. Class is equal to quotes, and I'm gonna say post title, because it ends up, this is exactly the same thing we've been copying and pasting. And then we're almost done. Again, we're gonna jump into index, and this time we're gonna come down here to this thing called the post excerpt, copy it, jump into page, and we're gonna actually paste right over here. Again, this is just a container, a paragraph container that's gonna allow us to edit that CSS code, or edit it with CSS code, then jump into search, go to this excerpt part, paste over that, clean up the code, jump into single PHP, there's the content, again, paste over it, and then go into archive. And then again, jump in here, paste that inside of there, 
And then all we have to do at this point is to come in here and close off our divs that we created. I'm gonna grab this one. This is for the post list div. Copy that, jump into page.php. And then the thing to look for here is the end while and end if statement. We're gonna go right after that, paste that in there. And then just to save some time, we're also going to create another div, close this off, and this one is going to be specific to end the main content div, right like that. And of course, this is a comment. You don't need to do this, but it definitely will help you in the future. So page is all fixed. So we can file save it, and then we can go into search. And then we're gonna come in here right for the end while and paste that inside of there. And then right after the end while, we're gonna come in here and end the main content. Why do you keep typing content? So that's all clean and nice, so we'll file save that. Jump into single.php, scroll to the bottom of the screen. End while end if, we're gonna come in here, close off post lists, and then close off main content. And then we'll file save that, that's all clean and perfect. Then we'll jump over into archive.php, make sure to delete the git sidebar. And then we're gonna look for end while again, close off post lists, and then close off main content. And then file save that. And now if we jump over here and click on single page, you're going to see that everything works out nicely. And there's home. And here I'll zoom in so you can actually see it. Sample page, there it shows up. And then if we type in our garlic and hit search, you can see that that also shows up nicely. And if we click on archives, the archives pages also works beautifully. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a Twitter feed. What we're gonna do is go to Twitter, and if you go to twitter.com about resources widgets, which you can see right there on your screen, you can click on for a website, and then you can click on profile widget, and what you can type in your username right inside of there, and then you can come inside of here, and fill in all your preferences and change your colors and your dimensions and all these different things. Well, whenever you're happy with what you got there, it'll actually show you what it would look like. You need to copy and paste this code into your WordPress website. So what I'm gonna do is to jump back in my text editor and then I'm gonna go to sidebar-second, which we created previously, open that guy up, and then I'm gonna come in here right after the part where it says subscribe, and it's real simple. And I'm just gonna type in H2, and I'll type in Twitter feed, just for the heck of it. And in the future, I'm gonna show you how to do this using widgets and plugins, and it's gonna be much, much cooler. And then you take that Twitter code that you got previously, and you can actually edit the colors and such inside of here, and paste it. And if you file save that, and you reload your web page, you can see right here, that it was able to jump out there and it's grabbing my Twitter feed and displaying it right there inside of my WordPress site, which is kind of cool. And remember, if you want me to make a theme for you for free in an upcoming tutorial, send me a large image of what you want that theme to look like and I'll pick the best one I get. Please don't send me any copyrighted information because obviously I can't do anything with that. And if you would prefer to watch something funny or bizarre or depressing, I got you covered with these three links here on the screen. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, till next time.